Copyright and the internet have a complicated relationship, but for recording artists and other persons conveying rights in an artist's performance on a sound recording, there is a system set up for making sure that streaming music services pay for transmitting music to listeners. Songwriters and publishers typically do not need to worry about how to collect the royalties owed to them for their works being played on the internet. As long as they are registered with ASCAP, BMI, or CSAC, those organizations will take care of the rest. Recording artists and others who convey rights in an artist's performance need to take some steps, however, to make sure they receive their payments. That's where SoundExchange comes in. SoundExchange is a digital performance rights organization that collects royalties on behalf of sound recording owners. It manages payments from non-interactive streaming services like internet radio stations, including Pandora and Spotify radio, and satellite radio. The streaming services pay the licensing fees, which are set by the government, to SoundExchange, and SoundExchange distributes these royalties to the sound recording owners, the American Federation of Musicians, which represents non-featured musicians, and the American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, which represents non-featured vocalists. SoundExchange only distributes royalties to those individuals and entities that register with the organization. Registration is free, and it can be done at SoundExchange's website at www.soundexchange.com. Since its founding in 2003, SoundExchange has been collecting and holding royalties for those artists, labels, and persons conveying rights on a sound recording that have not yet registered to collect their royalties. Once a new member registers, she can collect all of the monies owed to her and continue to receive them moving forward. That was a brief summary on performance royalties on sound recordings on non-interactive internet radio and satellite radio. Mm -hmm.